Hi beautiful people, it's your girl Faye. Welcome to today's vlog with me. Uh, so guys, as you all know, elephants are uh, the largest land mammals that we have here on earth. And uh, their presence is really crucial uh, because uh, they help in the health of forests, like uh, their movements, they end up spreading seedlings, which uh, helps in the continuity of forests and uh, as a result, contribute to climate change. Uh, so that means we need to protect the lives of uh, these animals or rather these creatures with uh, our own lives, right? But that is not the case because uh, these animals are uh, now facing extinction because of uh, human activities like poaching and uh, also because of uh, natural calamities like uh, drought. So, however, at least, at least there is hope because uh, due, because of uh, these uh, natural calamities and poaching, uh, baby elephants are left uh, motherless or rather orphaned. Uh, so, Sheldrick Wildlife Trust Center is uh, an orphanage that takes in baby elephants and uh, uh, takes care of them, like and raising them, and uh, then uh, seeing them through into uh, integrating into the wild again. So this is good news for the future, at least. Uh, so today I'm going to take you along with me uh, to Sheldrick Wildlife Center Trust Center, and uh, I hope you are going to learn one or two things with me. So. Let's go. Hi guys, so welcome to the Sheldrick Wildlife Trust Center. Uh, so this is a center that is uh, dedicated to rescuing and uh, hand raising of uh, orphaned baby elephants and uh, baby rhinos uh, and uh, takes care of them, uh, sees them through uh, to their integration into the wild. Uh, so this center is actually located in uh, Nairobi and uh, it's located in a field that uh, borders the Tsavo East National Park and uh, it's a registered charity uh, in the UK and uh, it's directly supported by the Sheldrick Wildlife Trust uh, USA and uh, as you can see uh, the caregivers are uh, giving the baby elephants a bottle of milk so what you see in the white bottles it's uh, milk and uh, i feel they are really doing a great job because uh, as i said earlier on uh, like uh, these baby elephants they are all orphaned uh, so these are orphaned uh, baby elephants and uh, one thing that i learned on this uh, particular day is that uh, baby elephants cannot actually survive without uh, their mother's milk and uh, you know like uh, mothers teach children survival tactics so definitely they also need to learn survival tactics from uh, their parents and uh, why because of poaching and uh, natural calamities like drought so these uh, baby elephants are uh, denied of that but uh, at least thanks to the sheldrick wildlife trust center they are getting some love the, some care and uh, yeah so this is a good call and uh, by the way, uh, if uh, you'd love to support this organization, I've linked uh, a link to their website in the description below. So please be sure to check it out. And uh, you can adopt an elephant, a baby elephant uh, from, uh, I think, let me not say the charges because I can't really remember the exact one and uh, I, don't, I don't want to lie. <laughs> so yeah, check the description and uh, you'll get all the information you need. Uh, so, as you can see on the screen here, this is uh, a baby elephant and uh, if you see its uh, skin, it has some uh, green patches. Uh, so, I was told that uh, this uh, green uh, is a uh, medication and uh, it came in when uh, the skin was so wounded. Uh, so, they are taking care of it and uh, it's really improving. And uh, you can see it's also not uh, that active like the rest. So it's uh devastated but uh, at least it's getting some love and some care uh, so that is another batch of uh, uh, baby elephants that uh, just came in and uh, i feel these guys are really doing a great job because uh, taking care of all these uh, baby elephants it's uh, like uh, it's showing a uh, future the future is brighter yeah. because uh, as i said earlier on remember elephants really contribute to the ecosystem 
uh, climate change through uh, like uh, spreading the like promoting the growth of uh, forest through spreading the seedlings and uh, yeah as you can see the elephants are getting uh, cheeky and uh, playful which is a good thing yeah so uh, we were feeding them on uh, the twigs so yeah they are learning to at least learning to get the skills like uh, feeding skills to be able to maneuver in the wild and uh, considering that uh, the center is uh, actually located in a field that uh, borders the Tsavo East National Park it's uh, an added advantage to them and uh, yeah, one thing, another thing that I learned, not one thing, another thing that I learned on this particular day is that uh, elephants have a great, great, great memory. And uh, so these baby elephants, uh, they are never taken to where they were rescued from because uh, remember some of them watched their parents uh, like uh, killed through poaching and uh, the natural calamities. So taking them back there will... Uh, cause them to like uh, be stressed or rather they'll be so devastated so they are not taken back to where they were rescued from uh, so they're integrated into a different uh, whole uh, uh, community of uh, elephants and uh, yeah they constantly like before taking them fully there they take them on uh, like uh, occasionally so that they can be able to um, like uh, blend in with the other elephants because uh, you know elephants live in uh, groups in families so uh, they have to also like uh, get a family that will welcome them so they have to they can't just take them once because uh, they'll be so devastated so see that elephant uh, scratching itself there this is so beautiful knowing that uh, at least they have a survival chance because uh, otherwise they wouldn't be living because uh, as I said earlier on, they can't survive without uh, their mother's milk. And uh, you guys, did you know that uh, uh, a baby elephant drinks about three gallons of milk a day? So imagine uh, like being able to provide these baby elephants with uh, all this milk. So that's where our support is really needed and uh, i hope that uh, the poaching thing will uh, totally stop because uh, having an elephant orphaned because of poaching it doesn't even sit well with anyone right because uh, these are creatures that are so beautiful and uh, we depend on them because uh, the forests are life our life depend on our nature and uh, yeah, so it's a good thing that uh, this uh, Sheldrick Wildlife Trust Center uh, is uh, doing all this uh, great work. And uh, as I said earlier on, you can uh, adopt an orphaned baby elephant uh, through their website. And uh, more information is on the description below. And uh, basically, that's it for today. Uh, so thank you so much for watching uh, this uh, vlog with me i hope you enjoyed it as much as uh, i enjoyed uh, filming it and uh, yeah that marks the end of uh, today's uh, vlog so don't forget to smash the subscribe button drop a comment and uh, let me know what your thoughts are about uh, this uh, vlog and uh, any other vlog that uh, you'd love for me to do uh, going forward keep the suggestions coming and uh, i love you so much guys uh, thank you for watching and uh, bye.